Hi everyone, very good morning to all of you. I welcome you all to another session of RBI 247, wherein we discuss finance current affairs. Let's get started with today's video. The three topics that we're going to talk about today. The first one is expert committee, which is created under IFSCA. Under, under this, we'll also understand what is IFSCA, gift city, special economic zones, and other important topics like this. The second is about central banking awards. Recently, the RBI governor has got the governor of the year award by central banking publications. That is why it is important. And then answer writing, I hope you all haven't forgotten. We are writing one answer every week, which is related to finance current affairs. Okay. So the first news today is about an expert committee that is formed under the IFSCA. Sabse pehle do, what is this IFSCA? International Financial Services Center Authority. So it is an authority which regulates the International Financial Services Center. Now we have three things that are important. Hai. What is IFSCA? What is IFSC? What is this committee that it has formed? <coughs> expert committee. And what are what is the function that is going to be there of this expert committee? <coughs> I'm so sorry. So the IFSC has formed an expert committee to create a roadmap for onshoring Indian innovation to the gift city and at the same time to create this gift city as a global fintech hub. Now, this gift city kya hoti hai? for us, it is very important to understand ki what is this gift city. Because the IFSCA works towards promotion of gift city. And that is the function of this expert committee. Ki aur innovations kaise lai jaye in this gift city so that it can become a global fintech hub. Now, this committee is chaired by G. Padmanabham, who is the, executive, the former executive director of the RBI. Sabse pehle samajhte hai, what is IFSCA, what is IFSC, gift city. Un sab ke liye, un sab se pehle, we have to understand what is SEZ, Special Economic Zone. I am sure aap mein se bohat logo ko already pata hoga what is SEZ, Special Economic Zone. So as the name suggests, it is a zone. It is a zone, which means it is a geographical area. A geographical area wherein the rules and regulations are different from the rest of the area around it. Right? Now, what are these rules and regulations that are different? So, the government wants to incentivize any enterprise or any institution that is functioning in this zone, in this special economic zone. Jin ke liye rules and regulations the government tweaks. For example, certain incentives are provided by the government like income tax may rebate milegi or exemption for the first 5 or 10 years. Other than that, direct tax may bohat zada exemptions milti hai, right? Uh, capital gain tax nahi dena padta. So these are the certain incentives that the government provides for any organization or any entity that is working in this SEZ. The aim of the government here is I'll, you know, manifold. Sabse pehle, job creation. If an organization, you know, has its headquarter here. So, the development of the entire area of that zone, that will take place. So, that is one of the objectives of the government. Job creation, employment creation. Other than that, the government wants to incentivize financial investment. Infrastructure, right? So, investment, infrastructure, employment creation, and to incentivize various uh, organizations, for example, a like banking sector, a like, uh, banking firm, hai. they wants to set up their organization somewhere. The government incentivizes them to set up in a special economic zone. So, tabhi special economic zone policy, I think in 2000, India's special economic zone policy was, uh, you know, developed or formulated in 2000 and further SEZ Act aya tha in 2005. SEZ Act was formed in 2005 by the government of India, under which may various zones in the geographical, various geographical areas around India, around eight to nine geographical zones, are, SEZs are there in India currently. Okay. So, special economic zone, ka hum matlab samaj gaye. Now, what is this gift city that we are talking about? The gift city is nothing but works just like a special economic zone. So, the gift city, that is Gujarat city, that is in Gujarat, Gandhi Nagar. Yes. So the gift city Gujarat mein hai in Gandhi Nagar. This city is divided in two parts. The first is the direct tax 
टैरिफ एरिया विच वर्क जस्ट लाइक एनी अदर एरिया दैट इज देयर तो इस पूरी गिफ्ट सिटी को दो पार्ट में डिवाइड करा गया है द फर्स्ट वन इज डायरेक्ट टैक्स एरिया एंड द सेकेंड वन इज एस ई जी अब इस गिफ्ट सिटी के अंदर लाइक आई एक्सप्लेन डी टी ए है एंड स्पेशल इकोनॉमिक जोन है दिस स्पेशल इकोनॉमिक जोन विल वर्क एज एन आई एफ एस सी इंटरनेशनल फाइनेंशियल सर्विस सेंटर अंडर विच वेरियस इंसेंटिव्स आर प्रोवाइडेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट टू एनी एंटरप्राइज हु इज ऑपरेटिंग इन दिस एस सी इन दिस आई एफ एस सी Along with that, the organizations that are working in the IFSC, that is the city, the special economic zone, caters to the customers that are beyond their geographical area or the domestic area. So they cater to foreign investors or foreign customers. So export promotion be ho raha hai if any organization is setting up their, you know, their headquarters or their units in or having any transaction or business operations in this IFSC in this. special economic zone so a lot of incentives are provided by the government for example like i said uh, you know income tax exemption milta hai other than that long term and short term capital gain uh, is exempt capital gain tax is exempted other than that uh, dividend distribution tax by companies is also exempted so certain taxes are exempted exempted uske ilawa for example there is a banking sector who wants to operate in the ifsc for them also maintenance of crr is exempted psl norms are also exempted so ab isse government ko kya fayda ho raha hai you know investment aa rahi hai foreign direct investment foreign portfolio investment is coming from abroad right and now the government wants ki ye gift city it should be like a global fintech hub like a global you know financial center just like london or new york so the government wants to promote to promote this gift city now like i said ek ifs ifsc which is working in this gift city now there should be a regulator beyond this above this ifsc to so, gift city ka idea 2007 mein develop hua tha and this ifsc was formed as a part of the gift city in 2015 now there has to be a regulator who will regulate provide rules and regulations and monitor the functioning of this ifsc right now this regulator is ifsca international financial service center authority it is an authority which regulates this ifsc so it provides rules and regulations for this ifsc right just like what rbi does for the banking sector or irda does for the insurance sector so before so this ifsc authority this came into being in 2020 after the ifsca act which was formed in 2019 so 2019 mein ifsca act aaya tha and 2020 2020 mein this authority was formed right so this is this works just like a regulator on this ifsc before that various other regulators were working towards promotion of ifsc for example rbi pfrda irda right okay now let's look at the news also again so the ifsca humne samajh liya what is ifsca it is an authority which works like a regulator so it is a regulator which is working towards the ifsc which is working towards ifsc and ye kya hai ek financial center hai ek place hai and the government aims at promoting such ifsc international financial service center uh, in the in india and the first such financial center is formed in gujarat gandhi nagar which is known as gift city so first such ifsc in india is in gujarat gandhi nagar in gift city us puri city ko fir gift city ke naam se bulaya gaya jiske andar first such ifsc was formed in 2015 i hope aap sabko samajh aa gaya hoga what is ifsca what is ifsc now the aim of this committee will be to promote to bring innovation ideas recommendations towards this gift city and to make this gift ifsc the gift ifsc a global fintech hub right just like we all know about london and new york they are global fintech hub they are global uh, service center financial service center similarly gujarat or gandhi nagar uh, gujarat international finance finance tech city should be a global fintech hub now this committee is chaired by g padmanabham let's see the committee will consist of various other members for example 
venture capital funds, startups, fintech, law firms, so that they can contribute together, right? So experts from all these domains will be there in the committee. They can provide their contributions to the committee, which will provide recommendations towards promotion of this gift city. So objective is to identify critical issues that are necessary for the development of gift city as a global fintech hub. The committee will suggest measures that will encourage new fintechs have a global outlook to establish their commercial presence in gift city. So, like I said, the government ka aim kya hai? The government's aim is, is SEC may ya is IFSCA may fintech firms or these startups should have a presence in the fintech firm. Just ki wajah se investment aay, employment opportunities bade and the area should be more developed, infrastructure bane, right? In return, the government is providing relaxation in a lot of law. The committee is expected to submit its recommendations to the IFSCA in three months. The recommendations might include measures to improve the infrastructure and regulatory framework. So infrastructure and regulatory framework of the IFSC, how it can be improved. That will be the, um, you know, that will be the agenda of this committee. Incentivize innovation and investment. Investment as a case, IFSCA may and enhance the competitiveness of IFSC. Now, let's study about IFSCA. One of the fast, India is one of the fastest growing economies in the world. To expand its economies, economic and strategic activity, globally, the government of India set it up, uh, decided to set up IFSC in India. Now, this authority was formed in 2020 as financial regulator under this act in 2019. Its headquarter is in Gandhinagar gift city. Headquarter hai gift city mein hi. Now, it is the authority for developing and regulating the financial products, financial services, financial institution in India's IFSC. Ye hai center. What is a special economic zone? A zone is an area in which business and trade laws are different from the rest of the country. There are relaxation in certain norms or laws for any organization that is working under this SEC or have a business unit in SEC or transacting in SEC. SECs are located within a country's national borders and aims to increase trade balance, employment, increased incentive, investment, job creation and effective administration. Give city samajh liya. Okay, now this is the gift city 880 acres ki hai ye puri city in Gandhinagar gift city jiska majority portion is DTA direct tariff domestic tariff area this DTA and the rest is SEZ so majority of the area is gift DTA and the rest is SEZ jiske andar IFSC hai okay jiske andar IFSC is there Okay, now this brings us to the end of this news. We have the committee was set up, what was the function? IFSC, IFSCA, authority Q and gift city also. Okay, now the next news, I hope you have read it now. This has been in newspapers or especially if you are preparing for RBI grade B exam or any exam related to RBI, where finance current affairs are asked for the finance current affairs. I hope you have heard this news already. This news is about RBI Governor Shakti Kanta Das. So the Governor of RBI has received the Governor of the Year Award. This is an international award given by the Central Banking Publication. By the Central Banking Publication. Central Banking Publication. It is a financial publication working towards public policy, working towards financial markets and aims its aim is central banks is pay emphasis hai. So the emphasis is on central banks international financial in, uh, institutions financial markets so, so yeah publication every year they bring out their publication they give awards so this year the award for the governor of the year the best governor for this year is given to rbi's governor shakti kanta das a proud movement moment for india Yes, a little information about this publication in case it is asked in your exam. Now, why is this news? Why are we studying about it? So, for us, as aspirants of a, you know, RBA grade B exam, it's not it's not important exam hai. And the position of a grade B officer, we just don't have to know the facts. We also have to know reasons behind it. Why was RBI Governor Shakti Ganta Das 
गिवन दिस अवार्ड वाई नॉट एनी बडी एल्स सो उसके बहुत सारे रीजन है अ फ्यू ऑफ द रीजन आर गिवन बाई न्यूज पेपर और दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दिस पब्लिकेशन इट सेल्फ एंड वी विल फिगर आउट द रेस्ट सो दी आर बी आई गवर्नर हैज सीमेंटेड क्रिटिकल रिफॉर्म्स कौन से क्रिटिकल रिफॉर्म्स वी विल लुक एट दैम इन मिनट वर्ल्ड लीडिंग पेमेंट इनोवेशन एंड स्टीयर इंडिया थ्रू डिफिकल्ट टाइम्स Now, इससे पहले the Indian who got this award of the Governor of the Year was Raghuram Rajan in 2015. Okay. Now, what are? I'm sorry. Yes. What are the steps taken by RBI Governor Shakti Kanta Das? In की वजह से इनको ये award मिला है. What are the reforms that we have that he has brought that we are talking about here? What are the various reforms and how has he steered India through difficult times? What are these difficult times we are talking about? So since he took up in 2018, since he took up, बहुत सारे ऐसे problems आए हैं, issues आए हैं in the financial structure, not just domestically in India but also globally. We all know about COVID-19, the pandemic, never seen before pandemic, right? The governor brought India out of the pandemic, the financial system out of the pandemic beautifully, right? He infused liquidity on various occasions uh, during this pandemic. before that there was an nbfc financial crisis in the nbfc sector with the fall of ilfs so ilfs scam hua tha jiski wajah se liquidity crunch aa gaya tha and bank run situations ho rahi thi right so a lot of scams a lot of scams the ilfs fall out right jiski wajah se bank run situation aa gayi thi pressure on the dicgc was rising the trust of investors trust of depositors in both the nbfc sector and the banking sector dropped down jiski wajah se deposits bhi kam ho rahe the credit generation bhi kam ho rahi thi during this period now if you see both the credit and the deposit are increasing similarly nps have fallen over these years from 2018 to now 2020 2022 23 nps have fallen रेगुलेटरी मैकेनिज्म में भी ही हैज ब्रॉट अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट चेंजेस सो आफ्टर दिस कैम एनबीएफसी में चेंजेस आए थे यूसीबीज में चेंजेस आए थे सो स्केल बेस्ड फ्रेमवर्क वाज ब्रॉट इन द एनबीएफसी इफ यू रिमेंबर बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है एग्जाम में किसी भी दिन आ जाएगा बिकॉज़ आरबीआई हैज नॉट येट आस्क्ड अ क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस सो स्केल बेस्ड फ्रेमवर्क आया था इन द एनबीएफसी सेक्टर रिसेंटली सिमिलरली यूसीबीज में स्ट्रक्चर आया स्ट्रक्चर में चेंजेस आए थे राइट टियर स्ट्रक्चर मैकेनिज्म इन द यूसीबीज so these are in the regulatory arena when we talk about the payment system payment system mein revolution aaya hai after upi upi transactions mein revolution aaya hai after in the payment system because of upi upi 1 2 3 and other measures just like upi which are working towards payment structure along after that covid 19 so covid 19 mein when deposits were following credit was following inflation bahut zyada high ho raha tha liquidity inject kari that was the decision taken by the rbi to inject liquidity and for that rbi brought out various kind of different mechanisms for example gsap mechanism aaya tha to infuse liquidity wherein rbi will purchase securities from the banks and infuse liquidity ab iska aim kya tha the aim was other otherwise also rbi was doing it through open market operations but this gsap was a little different so this gsap was a little different securities acquisition program government securities acquisition program iska liquidity inject karna to aim tha along with that yield ko kam karna tha right so yield was supposed to be regulated under gsap okay along with that ltro hum bahut baar pad chuke hain what is ltro targeted long term repo operations to inject liquidity in the economy jinki ab redemption date aa gayi hai in 2023 these were certain measures taken during covid-19 crisis along with that after the covid-19 crisis in 2021 rbi ne apna forex reserve bahut zyada bada liya tha so rbi you know created a huge forex reserve for itself in case of future contingencies right which helped after the russian ukraine war so russian ukraine war ke baad jab rupee ki value bahut zyada gir gayi thi there was a lot of depreciation in the value of rupee this forex reserve was utilized by rbi so that is why it was a good decision to have a huge you know forex reserve so russia ukraine war was another such crisis faced under this uh, you know this governor so russia ukraine crisis mein wastro accounts maintain kare gaye the so that 
rupee and ruble trade mechanism could be taken up right these were certain measures taken by the rbi governor very prompt measures taken by the entire rbi which is led by this governor so uh, rupee ruble trade mechanism was launched to reduce the dependency of dollars and to you know increase rupee ki dependency at the same time rupee trade mechanism direct trade mechanism right okay so these were certain measures taken by the rbi governor over the year that is why he received the award now the governor took office in december 2018 just after the financial sector in india was on the brink of collapse and moving through the first and second waves of covid we discussed all of it kaise unhone liquidity inject kari through various measures now uh, the economy also faced serious challenges during his tenure including the collapse of a major non bank firm covid pandemic russia's invasion of ukraine and the inflationary impact after the russia ukraine war we all know oil imports kitne zyada mehenge ho gaye the because of that there was high inflation and not just in india all around the world because of you know crisis in the oil sector as well inflation zyada hone ki wajah se a lot of banks almost all the banks globally they were raising their interest rate to tackle the inflation situation to tackle the inflation situation a lot of banks around the you know around the world they were raising their interest rate including rbi including fed bank of us and concerned about potential contagion risk linked to public sector bank loans despite the challenges thus his leadership was crucial in maintaining the stability of india's financial sector okay now this news also we have done the third one we are going to talk about is answer rating i hope aap sab logo ko pata hai hum answer rating karte hain once every week we write an answer on financial uh, related to financial finance current affairs okay so the question today that we have for you is write a short note on sovereign green bond and digital payment index dono current ke topics hain right ab sabse pehle hame ye samajhna hai if a short note comes it is a good thing at the same time thode cons bhi hain but it is a very good thing why because whatever we know a lot of times what happens is agar 10 ya 15 mark ka question aata hai and let's suppose a sovereign green bond Co concept was supposed to be explained in a 15 marker question where you have to write around 500 to 600 words it would have been difficult for you but when it is along with another point agar chahe aapko ye nahi bhi aata ho even if you know a little bit of this you can fetch high marks you can fetch very high marks okay so we have two topics sovereign green bonds and digital payment index like i said short note answer karna easy hota hai jitna bhi aapko aata hai aap likh sakte hain you don't have to stretch the answer at the same time the difficulty in a short note is you have to concise all the information that you have about that particular topic in only very small amount of you know the uh, number of words using small number of words so is made 200 to 250 words ka aapko per short note likhna hai on each topic so the first topic is sovereign green bond recently in january february uh, rbi ने इशू करे थे फर्स्ट सॉवरिन ग्रीन बॉन्ड्स द मेड इन सॉवरिन ग्रीन बॉन्ड्स आई थिंक 8000 करोड़ का राइट सो अब सॉवरिन ग्रीन बॉन्ड एक्सप्लेन करना बहुत इजी है दिस इज मेड अप ऑफ थ्री वर्ड्स इफ यू सी सॉवरिन ग्रीन बॉन्ड इफ यू नो व्हाट अ बॉन्ड इज इनिशियली आप बॉन्ड को एक्सप्लेन कर सकते हो और बेटर येट ग्रीन बॉन्ड्स को एक्सप्लेन कर दो व्हाट आर ग्रीन बॉन्ड्स तो ग्रीन बॉन्ड्स आर इशूड बाय एनी सॉवरन एंटिटी बाय एनी कॉर्पोरेट अभी हम ग्रीन बॉन्ड की बात कर रहे हैं सॉवरन ग्रीन बॉन्ड की नहीं सो ग्रीन बॉन्ड्स आर इशूड बाय एनी सॉवरन एंटिटी बाय एनी कॉर्पोरेट बाय एनी अलायंस बाय लेट्स सपोज इवन अ म्यूनिसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन राइट सो ग्रीन बॉन्ड्स आर इशूड बाय ऑल ऑफ दीज एंड द प्रोसीड्स ऑफ दीज बॉन्ड्स विल बी यूटिलाइज्ड इन ए सेक्टर ऑफ एनवायरमेंट इन द एनवायरमेंटल सेक्टर टू वर्क टुवर्ड्स सस्टेनेबल एनवायरमेंट और सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल so that is the function of green bonds so humne initially explain kar diya green bonds then what are these sovereign green bonds sovereign green bonds may we will write that here the government raises investment from the economy from you know from the public the government raises investment through issue of sovereign green bonds this is generally done by the central bank because they issue these bonds on behalf of the government so rbi issues these bonds on behalf of the government the sovereign green bonds जिसके लिए द गवर्नमेंट इज कलेक्टिंग मनी और प्रोसीड्स फ्रॉम द पब्लिक 
therefore public money is now utilized and this money can be invested by the government in various sectors related to the environment so various projects that are working towards in, uh, in environment right for example reduction of carbon emission right or creating carbon captures right so these are of renewable energy mein. so you can write certain sectors or certain areas jahan pe paisa utilize hota hai by the government now what is the benefit to the government and what is the benefit to the investor ye bhi aapko is short note mein likhna padega so the benefit to the investor is the benefit to the investor is sabse pehle they will be able to mobilize their funds their you know their reserves in any profitable not profitable but any sector that is working towards the larger public right environmental crisis ho raha hai and india ke targets hai globally determined targets right you can write that as well but you have to write a concise answer because it is a short note okay it is a short note so investor ke do aims kya ho gaye sabse pehle to they will utilize their reserves their fund in you know environment to that will work towards environment along with that you can also write that through these bonds the investor also you know businesses ko force karte hain investors to work towards the environment right they can also influence the businesses to work towards the environment what will be the benefit of the government earlier isse pehle if any projects that are working towards the environment let's suppose renewable energy solar energy ka koi project hai of the government earlier government was utilizing its own money but now public sector the private sector can also utilize its money right so general public can give money to the government that will work towards you know uh, the environment so benefit to the government benefit to the investor dono humne explain kar diye now the digital payment index very important digital payment index jitne points aapko pata hai firstly write it down in a rough piece of paper and then start typing the answer digital payment index brought out by rbi semi annually purpose likh do what is the purpose to capture or to measure what is the penetration of digital payment system digital payment structure in the economy how are digital payments used are they being used increase ho rahi hai digital payments or decrease ho rahi right so ek index hai which will map has the payment been increasing or decreasing in which sector are they been increasing or decreasing right so purpose likh diya what is the base year ab koi index hai to generally iska base year hota hai which is the base lete hain the 100 that we take as the base it was in 2018 now what are the parameters jis pe ye index map hoga so there are five parameters in this index five parameters in this index payment enablers payment infrastructure jisme aayega demand supply payment performers and consumer centricity now if you know each and every ka weightage write that also and also if you know what are the payment enablers so for example mobile internet these are payment enablers payment infrastructure demand side these are cards debit card credit card right supply side these are atms jo banks aapko supply kar raha hai to make payments right upi mechanism payment performers is the customers the consumers who are performing and consumer centricity focus on the consumers and its issues theek hai if you want to explain that also you can but keep in mind the amount of words that you have to use okay let's see the answers sabse pehle green bonds ko define kar diya green bonds are bonds issued by any sovereign entity intergovernmental groups or alliances on corporates with the aim to utilize these proceeds of bonds for projects that are classified as environmentally sustainable ab india is ka framework 2020 the framework of sovereign green bond was issued in november 2022 iske baad if you know the data in 2023 the maiden sovereign green bonds were issued by the rbi okay green bonds offers investors ab investors ka benefit humne likh diya it helps investors to get a platform where they can utilize their reserves or their funds to engage in good practices uske sath sath influence the businesses or business strategy of bond issuers right so unki strategy they should work towards esg they should work towards environment of to, towards reducing carbon emissions ya aise products lay which further reduces carbon emissions or work towards sustainable environment aise products lane chahiye 
ना तो इश्यूएंस ऑफ सॉवरन ग्रीन बॉन्ड्स विल हेल्प अब ये यहां तक ग्रीन बॉन्ड्स की बात कर रहा हूं राइट ओके द इश्यूएंस ऑफ सॉवरन ग्रीन बॉन्ड्स विल हेल्प इंडियन गवर्नमेंट इन टैपिंग द रिक्वायर्ड फाइनेंस नाउ वी टॉक व्हाट इज द बेनिफिट टू द गवर्नमेंट टू टैपिंग द रिक्वायर्ड फाइनेंस फ्रॉम पोटेंशियल इन्वेस्टर्स फॉर डिप्लॉयमेंट इन द पब्लिक सेक्टर प्रोजेक्ट्स एम डेट रिड्यूसिंग कार्बन इंटेंसिटी कार्बन एमिशन को रिड्यूस करने में हेल्प कर रहा है द गवर्नमेंट विल यूज द प्रोसीज रेस फ्रॉम सॉवरन ग्रीन बॉन्ड्स टू फाइनेंस और रीफाइनेंस एक्सपेंडिचर फॉर वेरियस ग्रीन प्रोजेक्ट्स जो गवर्नमेंट के ऑलरेडी प्रोजेक्ट्स हैं क्या एनी प्रोजेक्ट्स आर द गवर्नमेंट इज ब्रिंगिंग आउट व्हिच आर दीज ग्रीन प्रोजेक्ट्स दैट मींस दे आर वर्किंग टुवर्ड्स रिन्यूएबल सेक्टर या फिर क्लीन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एनर्जी एफिशिएंसी क्लाइमेट चेंज एडाप्टेशन सस्टेनेबल वाटर वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट पोल्यूशन प्रिवेंशन पोल्यूशन प्रिवेंशन एंड ग्रीन बिल्डिंग्स तो ऐसे जो प्रोजेक्ट्स हैं दीज ग्रीन प्रोजेक्ट्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट इनको फाइनेंस या रीफाइनेंस करने के लिए दीज बॉन्ड्स द प्रोसीज ऑफ दीज बॉन्ड्स कैन बी यूज्ड तो अच्छा सा एक शॉर्ट नोट लिखना है ऑन सॉवरन ग्रीन बॉन्ड्स द नेक्स्ट वन इज डिजिटल पेमेंट इंडेक्स आरबीआई रिलीजेस अ कॉम्पोजिट डिजिटल पेमेंट इंडेक्स पहली इंफॉर्मेशन आरबीआई करती है रिलीज देन सेमी एनुअली करती है व्हाई द पर्पस इज हियर टू कैप्चर द एक्सटेंट ऑफ डिजिटाइजेशन ऑफ पेमेंट्स अक्रॉस द कंट्री then the aim of rbi is to measure the deepening and penetration of digital payments in the country purpose ko aur expand kar diya on the basis of five broad parameters parameters ko explain kar diya and their weightage is also explained it has been constructed with march 2018 as the base year jiska matlab 100 liya jayega the base is set at 100 अगर आपको रीसेंट डेटा पता है आई फॉर्गॉट टू मेंशन दैट अर्लियर अगर आपको रीसेंट डेटा पता है दैट इज 377 द इंडेक्स द डीपीआई टुडे स्टैंड्स एट 377 व्हिच मींस 100 से इतना इंप्रूवमेंट हुआ है 377.46 एज ऑफ सितंबर 2022 एज अगेंस्ट 349 इन मार्च 2022 ठीक है Now, if me you can also write. If you have time, if you have words left, you can write down about various digital payment methods brought out by the government. Just me, सबसे बड़ा role है UPI का. So you can write about that as well. UPI लिख दो कितनी transaction हो रही है. How has UPI penetration of payment? Uh, UPI penetration in the payment sector has happened. So UPI transactions कितनी हुई हैं? कितने volume की हुई हैं? If you know the data, you can write about that. Okay, so this brings us to the end of the session. If you haven't yet downloaded our app, please download our app. Let's look at the question first. Recently, IFSTA constituted an expert committee for providing a roadmap for onshoring Indian innovation to the Gujarat, the gift city. Who among the following chairs this committee? Very easy. G Padmanabham. Phase one may the rule ask that here question. Or if you are IFSC exam ki preparation kar rahe hai, if you are preparing for IFSC exam, this question is very 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 important for you. एक और चीज IFSC was recently in news. Gift city was in news. Gift city क्यों news में थी? After the SPB collapse, recently ही मैंने एक video बनाई है about this collapse, Silicon Valley banks collapse. So a lot of startups who had their investment in the Silicon Valley bank. Around one billion dollar ki investment thi of Indian startups in the SVB. Now they are shifting their money from SVB to the gift city, right? That is why it was in news. Recently, the governor of Dash received the governor of year award by Central Banking Publication. Now, because you have read this news now, आपको पता है. But if you if you haven't read this news, तो ये सारे options बहुत confusing लग सकते हैं. Current affairs का question लग सकता है ये. The correct answer is E India. Which of the following is are incorrectly matched with the weightage of its parameters? Which of the following parameters? Which of the following parameters are incorrectly matched with the weightage? Payment enablers' ki weightage at twenty five percent. Payment infrastructure demand side ki ten percent. Payment infrastructure supply side ki fifteen percent. Payment performers ki forty five percent. Consumer centricity ki five percent. This is the weightage and this is none of the above. Because sare hi correctly matched. Where is the headquarter of IFSCA? Again, an easy question. Phase one may ask that. Phase two may to not. The correct answer is Gandhi Nagar or Gift City. Gift City that is made in Gandhi Nagar. Okay. Yes, this was the last question of today. I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you for watching.